right. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? This is your girl, Keisha Coolan. Squizzy, baby. What it do, what it do, what it do? What's going on, y'all? We are late, late. Right? Yeah, we late. Excuse late, us. Late, late, late. 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 But, but better late than never. Let me go ahead and share. We is her. Let me share. We is in the building. And y'all see, y'all see what the title says, man. Let me get y'all right. Hey, one person. That must be you, huh? I ain't there yet. Oh. Uh, I thought that was you. Now, give me one second. I'm, I'm going to get with y'all. Y'all see the title there. Top in. We're going to talk about it. Stop letting shit get swept the under the rug. Who made you bring that up? People and they shit. Mm -hmm. um, um, unresolved issues. Like, um, I I kind of got into it with two people and their family mm -hmm. members. Mm -hmm. So, at this point, because where I'm at in my life, I'm just like, this something that need to be talked about because I know that I do it a lot. Like, you know, sweep stuff under the rug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bite my tongue. Mm. Sweep shit under the rug, and then like when shit die down, excuse my friends, when stuff die down, they come back around, and then like nothing happened. Not dealing with that. Not dealing with that no more. I'm going to put it on the table, say my piece, and yeah, like if we get into it, and it's like you know you was in the wrong, and you don't apologize for it. Like it's the apology, and then like change behavior so yeah you can apologize but if you don't change your behavior after that then i'm still like i'm gonna still check it like yeah see it's different with family because i mean it's no different but it is different you know what i'm saying it's like i go left i go left you know what i'm saying i don't care who you are at this point mm -hmm. no you're not late we're late who said that <laughs> oh no you're not late at all honey bunny we're the ones that's late. Yeah. I actually like how your um name came up the last time. Who? Uh, Keisha's. What you mean? Because I think when you do it now, like it, I think it's based on the brand, right? So watch, see how hers pop up now. Oh, yeah. I don't like that red either. Burnt orange. Yes, it does. We want to fix that. Like a s a. Motherfucker, yeah. Well, um, so yeah, stop allowing shit to be slept on it, swept up on the rug. I understand things need time or whatever, like it, things might get heated. Um, but don't let don't keep letting people slide. That's why I beat people still do the things that they do, and then people gonna do what they want to do. But if you don't check that shit, like they're gonna continuously keep doing what they want. Um, we enjoy chatting with you too. We like to hear the stories. This this is weird. I feel awkward. <laughs> I had to put it back. It, it's no man. How y'all doing? How y'all day been? It's four people toned down. Who are the four people? Drop your names. All right. Hey, hey, hey toy. Hey, how you doing, toy? Toy. What's Gucci? If y'all like the new, this is the new platform. Um, y'all, y'all see us on on Facebook. We are on another platform where we're streaming to Facebook for y'all to tap in with us. Cause y'all always, you know, what I'm saying that's where most of I missed the topic. What's the topic? For we today? just we just chimed so, on. To so it. the topic for today is stop letting shit get swept under the red up uh, up under the rug. I say red because I'm <laughs> don't don't keep letting allowing people to you know mistreat and or just be any kind of way. They you people need to learn. That's crazy. I had a talk with my folks or whatever, and they was telling me about them and their friendship of 20 years with someone, and this person came out um just reckless at the mouth and said some shit. Like real disrespectful, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I was like, well, to me, that's how the fuck they felt to begin with. If you ask me, that's just how I feel. People, you know, people, a lot of people say, 
oh, you know, what they big on. You know, I say shit I don't mean when I mean now you actually say the shit you meant. People say fucking, that? Yeah, people say that shit. Well, you can still, well, you can still check them and they still mistreat and fuck. Mistreat and fuck. fuck. Oh, but see, you don't have to deal with it. See, I'm, if you check it and you know you check it, mm-hmm. then and they still mistreat you. No. See, that's where you wrong. That's where you go wrong at. See, when you know you check that shit, and you didn't just let that shit go. Now you gotta hold yourself accountable for as to what you need to do from here on out. If they continue, if you keep dealing with, if you it. keep dealing with the shit, because if you if you sweep it under the rug, yeah, of course you're gonna keep dealing with the bullshit because you never addressed it. Right. But if you address it now, you 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 put yourself in a position where you gotta be held accountable for your actions and what you're gonna do from here on out because you can now put it on the safe, right, and not under. It's on it's it's here. And then don't allow somebody to continue saying things or doing things um, if that's not what you, if that's not the shit you, I guess I am too much. You are. You probably are. I know because I am. I'm coming from a place, I don't know if you got to that place in your life where you're just tired. Mm -hmm. You know, biting your tongue hurts too. Have you ever bit your tongue? Mm -hmm. That shit hurts. In real life. In real life. Biting your tongue hurts. So, you know, if you don't want to be too nice and you still need to figure out what to say or how to say it, mm-hmm. say that shit, but keep it moving. I have allowed people to use me as a doormat for years. I'm glad I finally learned to say no and put up boundaries. That word right that there, part, boundaries. boundaries. <clears throat> Allow, let's normalize that. Boundaries, creating and setting boundaries, friends and family, I don't care who they are. If you don't know what boundaries are, look it up. I'll have some, I'll get some for you. I think I got You know some. what kills me the most about some people? Like they they can puff their chest out to the wrong motherfuckers, but they don't do this shit to the motherfuckers they need to check. Mm. I was supposed to curse. I ain't say that. I said <laughs> um mofos. I said the mofos, they need to pump their chest out too. They don't, they don't do it. Oh, you big and bad in the streets, but you ain't big and bad to your relative or your friend. Yeah, they take it on the wrong people. Right. Yeah, that's not okay. But again, if you allow it, they're gonna keep doing it. Mm-hmm. That part. How was y'all day, man? Like we gonna still talk about the situation. Here, but I'm sorry if it's triggering. That means you need to i do have a question though i was considered a people pleaser i always wanted to make sure people around me was happy and put myself right mm-hmm. so how and then when you start choosing yourself what did that look like because i know for me when i started choosing myself i almost started feeling like people made me feel bad oh yes me. that that part that part right there right there you in my I life because of teach you. Oh, okay i got you i got you you in my life because i deal with Mental illness, they think I'm crazy and irrational. I get so mad, then I get depressed. Uh, yeah. Are you seeking therapy? Those people ain't for you. Pretty much they didn't like it when I stopped allowing that to happen. Of course they don't. And that right there was a, a, a clear indication that you need to focus and I mean not focus on you, but do you and uh put you first. Let me chime in on toy. So I'm gonna read it again, toy, if you don't mind. Um, you in my life because I deal with mental illness. They think I am crazy and irrational. I get so mad, then I get depressed. Um, no, no, I understand. She not burn. She said, "Yeah, I am therapy." She meant she was saying I'm in therapy, but I get I still get mad. Right. No, I get it. Right, you still you know, but um, you have to get to a place where you aren't getting mad. Because I mean, either that or the therapist, you not. That's I don't know. I, I I don't personally. This is a personal opinion. This is no. I'm no expertise, but I feel like, and this is the question I was going to ask in a minute. But I feel like if you are still, if it's still allowing you to get mad, allowing you to uh, be upset, or that means you haven't learned from it. You haven't dealt with it the way that it needs to be dealt with. Because if if you dealt with it, you'll know how to deal with it. That makes sense, right? If it's, you dealt yeah, with it, you know cases. how to deal with it. Mm-hmm. 
And then in some cases, you know, like I always said, like um, some people that like in your case, you're getting therapy and um, some people don't and they expect for some people to understand where they're coming from and they don't see they're not seeing things clearly. So it's like trying to explain it to somebody like that who's not in therapy. It's like talking to a brick wall. You know what I'm saying? Talking to yourself. Yeah. So, you know, good that you're, you know, getting the help that you, you need because some people don't, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that you're even taking that step to get the help, it's just, it shows that you want better for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because I know people who's just like, therapy, therapy. I don't need therapy. Mm -hmm. I don't need therapy. Okay. Well, you keep handling, you keep dealing with the things that you're dealing with the way you're dealing with it. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, it's not getting you where you need to be. You know, even if you are seeking therapy and you're not, maybe it's not, you know, never, never give up on yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't ever give and, up. And if you, you know, to save yourself that mental damage, just exit left with those people. Maybe those people ain't the people for you. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. If you feel like you're not getting nowhere with talking to that particular person and you feel like, oh, this person, every time I saw this person, they don't get it, they get me mad. I don't, for me, I just don't waste my breath. I talk to people about certain shit, stuff. Yeah, that part, for sure. That part. I so, don't even take to everybody. Right. I separate myself and focus on me and my kids. And if they didn't make it, I no longer deal with it. Then you said, I'm finally get, I finally get got to a place where I'm no longer upset with people who walked all over me. I'm finally happy without them in my life. And then you said, I chose isolation. I needed it. Yeah. Sometimes you do have to isolate, you know, mm -hmm. but at least have that one person. Mm -hmm. At least one person, because isolation can be like, to me, where no one knows with you know what's going on with you like i have a friend who i i told because i'm aware of my situation and how sometimes i need to isolate away from people because of the energy so i i have a friend who i you know squirt knows everything mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but i have that person mm -hmm. who i can i'm like listen i have that's your uh diary it, like my your, diary, but when if even to her, if I don't feel like talking about it, I'm like depending on where I'm at. So it's four stages, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I have being by the lake, mm -hmm. being by the river, mm -hmm. being by the ocean, mm -hmm. being in the ocean. Okay. Now I know where the ocean is. I know where the river is. I don't know where this lake is. I'm still trying to figure that out. So, but I, and when I mean by that, cause you're talking about, <laughs> she's talking about real. I'm talking about um, where I'm at mentally. Mm. I mean, if I'm by the river, it's something small. Oh, by a lake or something small. It's not that big. I just don't feel like talking about it right now. Mm -hmm. If I'm by the ocean, it's something really going on. I don't want to talk about it, but it's big. Mm. If I'm in the ocean, but not drowning. Cause it, there's, there's actually five steps to that's my situation but mm. i only told y'all for but being in the ocean i'm drowning someone come help me because i cannot do this mm. so but if i'm just in the ocean and floating that's me isolating i don't want to talk about it i'm not going to talk about it i need but i need i need you i need you mm. type of thing because i don't know how to ask for help that's what that's where that comes in there for me Yes, I kept my sister and my best friend the rest. I just up and moved and told no one for a long time. Yeah. And then Toy says, I don't have anyone, uh -huh. just my kids. And I try not to vent too much to them. I have all these people around, yet still lonely as fuck. Yeah. Um, sometimes you have to lose some things, people to realize you never needed them. People who walk over people are who have no stability in their own lives. Mm -hmm. You are right, Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Good to see you. You don't have anyone. Hmm. You don't have anyone. You don't have anyone you trust. You don't have anyone that uh what what is it that is it <clears throat> what is it about you? Like what 
I mean, because here, this platform, like people going to tap in. If you've never mm-hmm. been here, welcome. Because, you know, we hit, we're here to, it's like therapy for us. <clears throat> right. We talk about the things we need to. People give each other advice. We don't judge. We don't, none of that. So if you need, you came across our page for a reason. You came here today for a reason. So, you know, tap in with us. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm going to be sure to check in with you now. And then I know that you feel like you don't have anyone. Like, trust and understand you. And understand me. Oh, yes. And, trust and, and, it's, and that's that. hard. And that's hard. To yeah. So you're a special individual. <laughs> I know that feeling. Can you come on? Sure. Yeah. Okay, give me a sec. I invite you. Give me one second, honey bunny. Gotcha. Okay. Whenever you get it. Yeah, um, to Tori, I had, I, Tori, I had been there feeling lonely. Um, <clears throat> Tori, if you don't mind me asking, um, are you here? Is she, you know her? Tori, I'm pretty sure. I do. Are you Tori, here? don't beat me up. If, if Look, I suck <laughs> with names, but I'm great with faces. I don't want to be on social media like that. Are you And like, I can't see anything based on your profile pic. Well, I was just going to ask, like, you know, it's it's questions. I have a lot of questions. There you go. Hi, y'all. What's hey. going on, Keish? Keisha, Keisha. <laughs> so um, I asked to come on because her um, toy, hot toy, um, I just wanted to let you know that I've been where you are. And um, honestly, that feeling... And even if there's people around you of feeling alone, it's real. Um, I recently just got out of depression. Um, I've, I've been, I was depressed for years. And honestly, I did not know it. And sometimes it's hard to tell the signs and understand what you're going through. Whether you tell someone, whether people understand what they're going through and, um, and I was going to ask you, Keisha, like you were saying, your five places. And I, my question was, were you a, are you able to verbalize? Because I have those steps, but I'm not able to tell people how I'm feeling when I'm depressed. So I honestly yeah. wish people could know, but in my head, I'm screaming for help. So I'm not able to speak it. So for me, because I have that one person I can talk to even in, in therapy and my therapist I have that one person and that's just a recent situation before I could talk with Squirt about everything but because of the kind of person that I am I didn't always want to put my situations in shit because I know energy transfers I didn't want to put my shit on other people so she would know literally she just knows that she I'll be in my room and she just come, just checking on you. And even then, still, I just could not give anything. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't. Maybe I didn't know how to verbalize it. I didn't want to talk about it all the time. So, but I know what this person just said. Crystal just said, it's not good holding things in. So, like Keisha said, holding like sometimes you don't even know because I suppressed depression for a long time. It took for me to go get into a relationship where I realized I had abandonment issues. I had attachment issues. Just a lot of issues that need to be taken care of in, in my 30s. Okay. Right. Yeah. 34. And this didn't happen until my 30th birthday. That's when everything unfolded, when I started choosing me. Right. And I'm 30. And I just honestly, August 2nd, I started taking antidepressants. And I'm finally feeling clear. I'm finally able to speak and tell people how I was feeling. Um, my uh, CJ dealt with my whole depression. And honestly, I felt like I was on autopilot. 
If, yes, so feel. if you're still in here, um, I this is I, I don't know if this is a thing. Well, I don't know, but I always bring this up. You know, your mothers, single mothers, go through that postpartum depression. Who mm -hmm. and they don't deal with that. So you got your kids, you got your own shit that you don't know how to deal with. So I understand. We oh, we do understand. Like you know, um, I don't. Is therapy helping you? You know what I'm saying? If you feel like that therapist, if you're not getting the, and maybe you don't know if you are getting the right help, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you think it, it takes time. Sometimes it do take time, but I'm going to tell you, I've seen three therapists and my the last one was recommended from the, like, something's not right. I think I have someone who can get to you, who, need, who I know will handle you right. You gotta find the right, it's like in any situation, like a relationship with a friendship. You gotta mm -hmm. find the right person. You gotta get around the right people. That you're mm -hmm. able to trust and open up to. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta do that work too. Right. You gotta I really was giving up the trust thing. Like I just got you cannot change fix. People, people do have to do that for themselves. Mm -hmm. I'm in a place in my life where I, I even question me, like, and I, I don't want my friends be help, you know, hold me accountable. I mean, hold me accountable, but it's just like what I'm going through. I don't understand it, but I just know I don't need to be around people. Right. People. But if you think I'm right. acting funny, then I need to kind of reevaluate our friendship because I don't understand why you think that about me. Right. Because I know who I am, and I don't know what I bring to. And then family. the thing is, people don't. I don't know why people think people supposed to stay remain the same. Like people not supposed to go through shit. I, I don't I don't get that. Cause if we had somebody that said that before, and I'm like, no. Yeah, like, even if I change, I'm, I'm supposed, supposed to, to elevate. Right. I'm supposed to ever and you are too. You are never gonna stay stay the same. You know what I'm saying? If we are, then you need to check yourself again. Right. I had trouble verbalizing and telling people what was wrong with me. Um, I honestly didn't understand why I was depressed. I had a lot of reasons, but you could, I can never pinpoint what was the reason when someone asked me what was wrong. Or right. I would say, oh, I'm okay. You know, I, oh, yeah. I was about to say, that's the main one. That's the main thing right there. What, what's wrong? I'm, I'm good. You sure? But you just don't feel like, you don't want to say, I don't really, I can't take it. My advice thing was, I felt people couldn't understand. Yeah. So that's why I, it was just so exhausting to keep explaining. Right. So it was hard to pinpoint one person. Like you said, you had you had her to release those things to. Everybody don't have that person. And mm -hmm. that's Everybody not good listeners. But it's also what she just said. Not everyone listens. Right. I have been dealing with depression since I was 14 years old, probably before. Tons of therapy and tons of pills. Yeah, see... Have you ever dealt with depression? Because you're always uppity. And if you have, you hit it well. Just as I damn sure did. She. I damn sure did. Yeah. You will never know. I don't wear my emotions on my sleeve. You'll never, I don't never show people that side. Like she knew, but that was in a but private then, moment. But, but even but. still, there's some things that she experienced she had to go through. And that's another thing, y'all. Please understand. Let's normalize going through shit on our own. Sometimes we got to go through some shit on our own. You are not alone, but some things you have to go through alone. Mm -hmm. So you know that you got you. Mm -hmm. So there are things that she talked to me about, and I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And there's probably still some more shit that she doesn't know because it's so much. But yes, I have dealt with depression back to back for over the span of before this relationship, well, this marriage and this union, um, 10 years. And I might have had a break here and there, but it was bad. I lost hella weight. I was becoming a bit be an alcoholic and didn't even realize I was getting sick. That's where my anxiety came from. It was a lot. Yeah. And mental health is, is something that I've been learning about, and I honestly did not get evaluated in 2000 until 2018 that's when i actually got went and got help 
But honestly, when I talk to someone, they said I've been dealing with this since I was a child. And when you, when I look back and I realize that I was a happy kid, but I definitely hid my pain well. I um, was, like I said, I'm a people pleaser. And you know how you look at those reels and people say, put your hand up. And if you put your hand down and at the end they say, well, this is what you are. And I kind of related to a lot of those things because I've always wanted to please people. I always wanted uh, people to like me because I, like you said, I have abandonment issues. I grew up not being wanted. I grew up just, I had a bad childhood and I did not get the refresher of that until I had another trauma. My trauma unlocked my past trauma and then all of it hit me at once. So that's when I got help because I was overwhelmed and I, I wanted to make sure that I was okay for my son after losing my child. So um, getting, I'm glad that Toy, you're getting help, but um, and like I tell my best friend and if she ever needs it and Honestly, a lot of people need to hear this. You are loved. Like mm -hmm. I tell my best friend, when she's low, I need you. We mm -hmm. need you here. Don't well, give that's, up. I, that's one thing I can say. You know, I hear people talk about their depression and how, you know, um, they wanted to do things. I, I can't say that I've been there. I can't say that I've actually wanted to actually out myself, off myself. I can't say that even with my weight gain that I was just like, oh, I don't like myself because I still think I'm the sexiest motherfucker on earth. I just what it is. That's how I always felt about myself. Mm -hmm. But, and I also know, knew that if I wanted change, if I wanted not to complain, if I wanted change. Everybody doesn't have that in them. Yeah, I get I that. Grew up, I grew up uh, with low self-esteem and mm -hmm. I grew up, like, like I said, I, I lived in a home where they, we didn't want, we were not wanted. Yeah, so right. I did not have the love that I needed. So that's why I give my babies the most love in the world. So when I but, say those words, I say it to myself. And when I say it to my best friend, she hears it and she feels it too. Everybody hears, feels it differently. And um, like you said, I've never tried to do it, but it's been in there. I've yeah. never been strong enough to say it, but it's been in there. Mm -hmm. And recently, and like I said in one of my videos before, um, honestly, my weight gain was me giving up. Mm -hmm. I stopped caring. Yeah. I, yes. stopped, I stopped um, in my mind because I could never say it out loud because I love my kids so much. But I mm -hmm. honestly stopped taking care of myself because I was tired of being here. And that was after losing my daughter. But again, those thoughts, it's, it's in there. And if I don't say it out loud, that's when I say that I don't believe it. But honestly, if I'm, if I'm telling myself in my mind over and over again, I don't want to be here, but I'm not saying it out loud. That's when, in my, to me, I never tried to do it. But honestly, in my head, I said really? it times not to believe it. Yeah, you still saying it like they said a thought. Um, it's just as bad as you, it's almost just as bad because you kind of talking yourself into it or something like that. Yes, I can relate and say that I try to do, do, deal with everyone, give them the love I never had, but it always backfired. Let me tell you, it back, it, it's backfiring because you're not protecting yourself. It backs, it's backfiring because you're not, you're, you're not taking care of you first. And I'm going to tell you, so easier said than done. I don't know what it's going to take, but for me, when I started paying attention, and maybe you need to hear this, when I started paying attention to my body and realizing what it does to me, I would like people, I was the friend. And if you're listening to this, if you are the friend who everyone comes to, <laughs> but not most people check on, you need to check yourself. Exactly. If you don't handle your shit. So with that, for me, I used to really, I started thinking, so why do I keep getting headaches when there's one person keep calling me about their situation? Because I've been telling them the same thing for years and it was not, they weren't listening. So all this time, and this, I'm going to tell you, you get real sad in the end, boy, I'm telling you, when you start to learn this new you, mm. so when you start keep putting with toy, when you keep putting your, your shit off, 
to deal with everybody else. When it's time for you to deal with your shit, you're not going to want to. You're you're it's running from right. You're going to be tired. You're, 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 you're to, you cannot pour from an empty glass. Period. Mm -hmm. There's nothing there. That's why it hurts. Mm -hmm. You don't have it. You got to stop. But see, because you're going to end up hurt, hurting regardless. Why not do it for yourself? Because you, they not taking it from you. They're taking from you. Right. And but they not taking they that shit because they're giving them. So you got to you gotta go ahead. And that's why I kept saying people, I'm, I said this in two of our videos before, people think that you can only be used for like money or stuff. No, people can use you for other things. Energy, your energy. A lot of shit. Your you know? energy. So when I realized that, that's why I said you gotta stop. And this is this chapter where I'm at in my life right now. In last this last month, paying attention to how I feel around people. If it's not, I was always some internally able to discern, but now that shit didn't work this way on out the system. Now I'm I'm forced to be like, nah, so. I'm gonna have to fall back because <laughs> not, we is not. I, I'm not being myself right now. I can't talk the way that I want to talk. I want to be able to be me. Mm -hmm. So I need to get around people who I need to, who I can be myself around. If that means yeah. nobody, guess what? I'm okay with that. You want to know why? Because I got me. So Toy, get you boo, get you, and you oh. can jump out there, talk to us, get in the inbox, and if you need somebody to talk to. All is no judgment here. And I, all I'm gonna say, Toy, is when I was that low, my biggest motivators was my babies. Just seeing them hey, and their smiles, it got me through it all. You know, as I have been to do the lowest of lows, mm -hmm. and they couldn't see the top, and I could not see a, a light. But my baby smiles and them looking at me and, and allowing me to deal with what I go through. My mm -hmm. son helped me through a whole depression at the age of nine. And his strength and it brought me to the strength that I need. So I like you, we had this conversation of leaning on our kids and we know that it's not good because that's too much for them to handle. But I don't I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you to just look at them and that should be enough strength. To get you something that probably was getting her through. That's probably yeah. was getting her through, but that she also has, you know, be that you know, don't allow what she's going through for her kids to go through. Don't you know, cut it, mm -hmm. cut that off. Don't allow what you're going through or let kids because I'm gonna tell you, there's no I don't know if it's a such thing as being given too much love, but maybe just shelter too much where to the point where the person doesn't know how to live outside of the situation because you know my aunt gave me a uh, gave us a lot of love i know how to love the reason my, my family has we have shown each other we know how to love we know how to do that that's easy that's why i've attracted the people that i've attracted in my life however giving that much love and not paying attention to those attachment issues that when somebody walks out my life how bad it is going to hurt when they do leave? Yeah, that that, that that's something that I don't know how that could have been told or what it could have been. I don't know. I, I I haven't really thought about that, but I have to. I had to deal with it in my adult age, you know. So yeah, I just pretty much I'm the type of person I'm. I snatch the band aid off. Yeah, that but, hurts. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but I rather you know what I'm saying I've been through so much pain on a consistent basis. Where I'm like, you know, I know what it feels like. You just go ahead and get over it. I probably was numb for a very long time. Not the yeah. first person. I was numb. I can sit here and say, so I know what it feels like. I've experienced, I don't know if anyone's ever experienced this, to be cold inside, internally. Mm -hmm. When that someone touching you, like, like, don't touch me. I've never been in my life, never been in, in life, especially with this one person that tried to touch me. I was looking forward to someone Try, you know, hurt someone to hold me, mm -hmm. and I didn't want her to touch me because, to me, all that mattered it was it wasn't the person that I wanted to mm -hmm. touch, mm -hmm. who I wanted to hold me. Mm -hmm. I seen somebody post the other day. Um, I just want somebody to hug me. I just want somebody to hear me. And then I and then I asked her. I said, so "Let me ask you a question. Do you really have you hugged somebody? And if you did, was it you that 
what if this person was really hugging you? Maybe it's you that's not feeling it or getting it. Because mm. I see in her posts, I'm just like, yo, like you're like screaming for help, for help, for help. Are you actually trying to get the help? Is people really there or is it you? It has to be something. Mm. What is it? I ain't get no response because I was like, because I know what it's like again mm -hmm. to reject. With to be, my body has rejected a person. I never thought that could happen, and it happened. So, but I, I'm not. I'm also not on social media looking for someone. Eating. Not that it's a bad thing, but I'm just, I'm just not putting my issues out there and not trying to deal with my shit. I'm, I, and I'm not saying look for. I hope that you come across the person and the people that you need in your life. You know, I put that prayer out there. I send that energy your way to it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's 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 tough. Trust is mm -hmm. trust is a woo. Trust is earned, man. Once it's gone, once it's gone, it's it's kind of there's no coming back from it. It's, it's hard. It's, it's definitely it's hard. hard. Uh, especially you through stuff. Get to a place where you you know like you love you. You loving on you more like self-care like you know you know this one thing i had to kind of disagree with my therapist and she was like just go back to what you used to love and i'm like okay well honestly where i used to be is where we're trying to come from so i shouldn't go back there because i was depressed there i was suppressing my depression i'm supposed to deal with it so what we're going to do is do new things we're going to open our brain we're going to get out of this box that we're in mm -hmm. i had to tell my therapist this because I was like, mm, nah, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not going back there. Like, that wasn't a good place. Right. And even though it felt good, now that I'm here, I know what that, that ripping off the band aid feels like. So, no, we're going to keep ripping off band aids. We're not going to keep putting it back. Mm -hmm. And it don't stick. Nope, it don't stick. It's mm -hmm. gone. It's, it's dead. Mm -hmm. I honestly, um, I, like I said to y'all earlier, I enjoyed. Um, listening to y'all and actually coming on here because it's, it's healing me being able to tell those stories and uh, getting it out of my head and, and getting it off of my chest uh, it honestly is a healing uh, method because once it's out there it can no longer affect me Absolutely. so like when I tell those stories uh, they, they may be crazy they may be you know mm. something that I went through but it honestly no longer affects me whereas though I'm no longer uh, trauma or bothered by them, so I'm ready to tell those stories. Something so I just another thing that I will say, Toy. I'm saying this because you said you don't have anyone, so because I knew and know that I don't take from everybody, I the minute I was going through whatever I was going through, and I finally got to a place where I could get out my bed and shower more. And not just once, every two days. I literally almost lost my. Shit. I went and bought me a mic to do this podcast. Well, not where people can see me. Mm -hmm. I remember putting the headphones on my ear and I started talking into the mic. So, Toy, you might need to start your own podcast on what it is that you got going on because your story is not your own. What we do, this is therape therapeutic. It's always been that. So using this platform where we can cross paths with people, you might just need to venture off and start your own so that people can come to you that is like-minded, like you. Mm -hmm. Someone you can share your story with. So instead of going to people who ain't hearing you, people are going to come to you that, need, that actually need to hear from you, that want to hear from you because of what you're going through. It only takes one. It if it's only one. just one, right. that it, take, it takes one to open the door. You won't know what's out there until you open that door. You know what I mean? But yeah. Well, thank you for me to come on. You're welcome. Thank you for coming in. All right. Bye. Thanks Enjoy for coming in. As usual. See y'all later. Got it. If you would like to come in, just tap in and say it because we would guess what? What's that? I think that's the girl. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, I hope y'all take you know this information. You know, it's I always feel like we come on. What we talk about is always the perfect timing for somebody. It is. 
Somebody needed it. Was this something you wanted to talk about yesterday? Yes. Okay. How long did you want to talk about it? What? Uh, what you mean? I knew that I wanted to talk about it on Thursday. Okay. Wednesday. Somewhere early in the week. I don't want to get on camera, but I am just... Just lost right now? I am just lost right now. Okay, you don't have to get on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. But if you don't want to get on camera, but if you just want to get on here and talk and cover up the mic, I mean, cover up the camera, you can do that too. That's just a suggestion. Or another time. You don't or have to do it today. get in the inbox, talk to us. Right. We want to hear We can stop baby steps. Yes. Baby steps. I mean, I'm, I'm not self esteem is poor. You know what? I get it. I understand. Self esteem. That's we're gonna talk about that. I like this. Keep going. This oh, good. sorry. So yes, talking helps. Uh talking. Oh, that's it. I had to cut my mom off. I know oh. a lot of girls who had to. Yo, like yo, like see, those are sto those are things I want to hear about because I know people who hey pop grew up without their peoples. I'm 15 weeks pregnant. Okay. Okay. Love y'all forever, my children. Love you too, Ma. You say Ma, I say Pop. <laughs> and then it'd be like it for a long time. Me. Okay. My whole family off. Fast up. Foster, Foster family, family off. off. You know, I, know. I had three baby boys already. Okay. So. And see, you know, with you being pregnant right now, too, you know, the hormones and everything got you got going on. Like, you got to, you got to, you got to take that easy, you know. Are, are you single? Hey. Um, <laughs> that's how what we call her. Uh. Was she single? Yeah, like she said, she don't have no. I gave up on life. I don't know why I fought hard to. I gave up on life. I don't know why I fought so hard to get well. You don't know why you fought hard to get well. I just want to make sure I'm reading it right. You didn't give up on life. You know, yeah, you're carrying life right now. You know, so. a lot of things, a lot of questions you had. The answers will soon come. They're not gonna come right when you want them to, but everything gonna make sense in due time, you know. Um, hey, Savel. Hey, Savel. Yes. What's the point? What's the point in life? Well, you are still here for a reason, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You are in a relationship. Okay, you are in a relationship. Is it good? Do you, is do it you going feel, good? Do you feel like, are you alone in this relationship? Is this a new relationship? I, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Thirty-eight. Okay. Are you social? Like, do you do you get out? Like, just hang out? Essentially, I mean, you, baby, you have a purpose. What's the question? We're talking about sweeping shit under the rug. Well, right now we're discussing um, depression, depression. So you know, self esteem. We were, we were talking about sweeping shit under the rug and allowing people to just kind of walk all over us and um, yeah, not allowing that to do that anymore. Regardless, I, I was dead straight for three years and I'm just trying to get back to me, but I don't know who is. Trust me, I know exactly. I'm going through that right now, like, but on a, I'm going through that on a, 
level where I'm working on things for myself. Like I said, um, yeah. You want to say something? No, go ahead. Um, being around people that I used to be around, I can't be around right now. Like I can't even explain it at times. And I have been very sad about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, why is this happening to me? Why? Like they didn't do anything, but it's just like where I'm going in my life, what I've been praying about, what I've been meditating about, everybody can't ride that ride mm -hmm. with me. There's some things I have to go through with, by myself mm -hmm. and and be okay with it. Mm -hmm. So you're going through these things. That's called the point of no return, no going back to the normal and figuring out what is the, the new norm. norm. Yeah. So when I do, when new things happen for me, I always, <laughs> I do something like the old me would have done this, but I'm not, inter I'm not interested. I'm not interested in mm -hmm. going back because I'm trusting. I do that a lot going forward like i do a lot of prayer like praying i don't know how like your belief i don't know believe your belief system or um you say you don't have anyone you feel like you don't have anyone but you're surrounded around people do the people know how you feel have you ever just expressed yourself to them what she said they don't understand right so always remember you have to go through a test to have to testimony you gotta Go through. Yes, I prefer to be alone, but everyone talks bad about me being alone in the house. Fuck them. I know but, we wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> Keisha, if it's not doing you any harm, is it to be out? If it's if it's doing if it's not doing any good for them, you, yeah, don't forget what they what they're saying. If they, I'm gonna tell you what I came to like a point and. It, I think we talked about this before, but when I was in ninth grade and before that, I was quiet. I wasn't this person that y'all see. I wasn't uppity. I wasn't all hype. I was quiet as hell. I wouldn't talk much. I sat back and I observed a lot. My 10th grade year, when I was trying to figure out who I was, I know what I wanted to do, but I was trying to figure out what I was into. Because, you, you know, as a teenager, you're trying to understand your sexuality and all that stuff. When I realized who my friends were and, I, and how they changed when they figured out who I was or found out who I was, <laughs> and I, I refused to be the way they wanted me to be. When I started to use the word no, mm. no has been my best friend, solid. Mm. <laughs> For years, hmm. and it has never done me any wrong. And you'd be surprised. Just try it. Sometimes I even test myself. I might have something to give to someone, but I just want to know: Is this person gonna be solid when I say no? And the moment I said no, and I seen their true colors, I was like, "All right, cool." I was okay with it. I didn't give a fuck because at the end of the day, I was good. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back to what Keisha was saying. You have to make sure that you're good first. If you're not good, you're good to nobody. You get what I'm saying? That's so what I first. Really you so. have to be good with yourself. Take time out for yourself. It's okay. Stay. If, if being in the house alone or being in the room alone to get to know who you are, so be it. Yeah. Ask them. You got three. Ask. You got three boys. U X K them. <laughs> <laughs> you got three boys. Mm -hmm. She said three, right? Three boys, yeah. I asked God to put me on the path He has set for me, not the path I had for myself. And I pray for guys every night. Yeah, like I said, I don't know your your your, your belief, uh, what you believe in, who you believe in, but you know, pray. If that's what you if that if what what you do, what you need to do, like. What has been good for you? Mm -hmm. What have you done that has what been works? good? What works for you? And then, because there's no need to really do too much for, you know, from there, but continue doing the same thing that you got to do for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's working for you. And I told somebody this before. If you're getting the same results, it's time for you to do something different. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You have to. Uh, a lot of times, fear will hold you back from a lot of shit, but stuff. But you have to try. Sometimes you have to just jump. Oh, that jump word. Yes. So that's something I would never do. I don't. I would have never, ever, 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 ever jumped. I don't know what made me, what caused it. It was, I stopped. When they say believe in you, mm-hmm. okay, let me give y'all some back history and right quick. Mm-hmm. So Squirt was in a um, rap in a rap group, mm-hmm. and they asked me to manage, and I was like, "What? Y'all want me to manage? I don't know nothing about managing." Like it was like negativity. They saw something in me I didn't see in myself. Mm-hmm. Then it was I'm gonna start managing this music, y'all. Uh, a six four at the time he was t- t- 10, 11 years old. Manager him. His mother wanted me to take over him. And I was like, no, nah, you can do this with me. And it was like, no, you got this. You can do it. I didn't believe in myself. I needed, I didn't feel like I had enough experience. Uh, we dropped the clothing line last year. I couldn't do this drive. And then at the same time, so I was like, and I kept watching YouTube videos and encouraging words. I know y'all seen the, the Steve Harvey, just do it. The Will Smith, don't look back, jump out that plane. I don't even want to talk about the plane, but jump out the plane. You won't know until you do it. I was like, what I got to lose? Mm-hmm. And I just quit my job out of nowhere. I just did it. I didn't really say, I didn't have a plan plan, but I was like, I fly is going to make it. Damn, I should have wore the shirt. I should have wore the shirt. You not, Did you put it on? No. Your I'm not bad. You have to find yourself love. <clears throat> you have to find yourself. Love yourself. Pray and listen to music. Is help. You have to let go and let God. Then Toy says, "I used to play my Xbox. Oh, it's good, but then that was a problem. I like to write, but I don't anymore. I don't. I just don't know anymore. I have been trying to stay positive and change my mindset. Hold on. Let Let's go back to this. I used to play my Xbox, but that was a problem. Why was that a problem? Let's start there. Why was that a problem? Probably and a problem to who? I mean, you better get back on there. I know why old is your boys? <laughs> she got three boys. I'm gonna tell y'all my grown ass color. I had a ton of Therapy. coloring. I, I can't draw, I can't ton. color in the line. This Brahma, she good. I wish she ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> I can't cut, I can't stay in the lines. It's just not just not with that. But it's therapeutic for her. And I'm like, she really does. But what, what what I like is word puzzles. I mean, cross search. I mean, word search. And baths. And tons of, of baths. Long three-hour baths with music in my candles bed. I wake up at 5 o'clock every morning and I pray. I might work out. I've done a lot of different things trying to figure it out. Let me tell you, uh, I have not wrote a song and God knows how long. Let's talk about it. I have not done a video edit in so long. But you know what I realized what helped was the consistency. The consistency of it. If I didn't, I, I stopped. That was the problem. I stopped. And the moment I stopped, I shut down. I haven't written a song as a songwriter. We're both songwriters, by the way. I haven't written a song in over... Like, I haven't, I don't know if I even pitched her any ideas. You haven't? Yeah. So, in like four years, basically when that's all took place and me having to focus on myself. And I've cried about it, but I'm going to tell you, (laughs) you meet the right people. Whatever's being blocked, whatever chakra is being (coughs) blocked. It was. It's now unblocked. I'm. I listen to a lot of love songs now. God, I was always always listening to like Man, gospel. All these were goodies. Began me right. I don't give a fuck. No but I couldn't. I high. couldn't. I was scared to really my sensitivity to music because I'm an empath, so I feel everything. I didn't want to listen to music. Mm-hmm. I was for since 2018, 2019. When I went through uh, 2019, when I went through that heartbreak, like mm. I lost so much weight, I didn't recognize myself. But then I looked at it as a good thing because I was trying to lose the weight anyway. <laughs> but then it was unhealthy how I lost it, so I was just like, okay, I'm gonna maintain, I'm gonna fix it up. But then uh, 
met, I, I still was looking, looking for something. And somebody out of nowhere fell, pow, right into my lap. And I thought it was love, and I, oh, it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was still looking and I stopped looking. I couldn't help it. I just, cause I wanted somebody, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to be in a relationship. I wanted it so bad. And I had to be real, my, real with myself. It's something that's probably the hardest thing to do, but y'all, I can tell you, I have the biggest mirror in my bedroom. Yeah, she does. The biggest bed, bed uh, biggest mirror in my bathroom, and I stay there a lot. And I look that person in the face. Look, look at myself, and I, hey, listen, keep it real with yourself. If you don't do it with nobody else, be real with yourself. Mm -hmm. Period. Do you have hate in your heart? Because if you do, you have to let it go and receive your blessing. That is a great that part. That was great, Savil. That is a good question, Toy. Do you have hate in your heart? Do you hate dislike? I mean, I, I don't like to use the word hate because that's a strong that's a strong and, word. And you know what's the hardest thing? Have you forgiven yourself? I, there it is. And then talk to some people. You know what I'm saying? Like they you don't have to forgive yourself. You have to Fine. for all the stuff you've done and for all the stuff that you think you're about to do or get ready to do. You have to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for sticking around for stuff that. But once you forgive, you're not going to forget. Mm -hmm. You should not want to even forget. You just should just so you know not to go back. Right. Change behavior, y'all. Mm -hmm. Change the behavior. Find the outlet. I love to read. And when I was grieving, I could not focus to read or write, but I found a way to release my negative, my negative energy. When I was pregnant, I was having nightmares about my past. So I really felt tortured into go huh, into go to sleep and experience and see those people every night. But while I was pregnant, I had talk therapy. I hope I said all that right. I don't mean no harm, but God is talking to us. Oh, I ain't no harm, girl. I do have hate in my heart. I say I forgive myself, but I don't think I do. I don't think you do either. I think you blocking your own, you're in your own way. Somewhat. I think you're in your own way. I think you have to figure out what you need to know exactly what it is when you when they say forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. Get that hate out your heart. Whatever it is that you're mad about, they say just let it go, and it's easier said than done. Trust me, I know. It's easier said than done, but you have to get to a place. And, and trust me, it, it's not going to hurt. If the fear of wondering what, you know, we. You're we, already getting. We, hurt. Hurt. I don't know what's going to happen if I let this go or I walk away from this situation. That's not the problem. What's hurting you is staying. What's hurting you is is remaining right where you're at. I know y'all have seen the meme where they say, like, it's like something wrapped around your hand. They say holding on to it longer hurts more, but letting it go. That release. That release, like it, you won't, you're not holding on to anything for it to hurt. Mm-hmm. And it's like you're scared to take a chance on yourself, but you trying to but, take a chance with everybody but else. But you're right? blocking your blessing because you don't even realize once you close that door, something's already waiting for you. But they not gonna open that door till you close that one. I'm gonna tell you, you I'm what I'm saying. Listen, but y'all, I can't. I I don't have a problem. I'm real open. I'm an open book, and I. Mm -hmm. Some people say I tell too much of my business. I can give two shits because again, my story is not my own, and everything I've been honest, nothing but honest. I've you know, people have been good. They might have been good people, but they were not honest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when I tell you, when I, this may not be for no, this ain't for nobody else. But let me help you out. Let me tell you, letting go was hard for me. But the minute I made a decision, I literally woke up out of my sleep and was like, today I'm choosing to not deal with her no more. Mm -hmm. I have to cut her off. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that voice was, but I'm because I was I was praying, I was crying, I was listening to meditation music constantly. I was tired of I told myself I'm not gonna keep going to sleep crying and losing sleep when I got to work in the morning. And then I had I fly. Then see, just another thing. I had to find something that I actually loved and was working for. 
I could not allow my business to go down. So when I realized that was put in front of me and I was like, this is my baby. Do I really love it? Or am I being selfish? I had to ask myself a lot of questions. So I fly was the re is the reason why I let them situations go and I focused on myself that part. And now I can tell you, when I tell you I'm manifesting everything that I want, trust me, let it go, boo. Let it go. Can I share my story? Come here. Just to kind of show you where I'm, I'm going with it. Okay. Um, um, what I'm about to do happen to ever see it, they might tell a different story or they might not agree with what I'm saying, but it is what it is. This is, this is my side. I was in a relationship. All right. Before this marriage, I was in a relationship of five years. Um, the first two years, it was amazing. The third year, uh, this person's doctor gave them some appeal that made the change drastically and everything went downhill from there. This person showed me a side that I've never thought I would ever see in a million years. I really thought that I was going to end up on snaps. OK, um, to the point I was and, and a lot of my relatives don't even know this. So now it, here it is. I was not mentally abused, but I was also physically abused because this person has been mentally abused and physically abused and emotionally abused. So all of their trauma was now being put on to me and I was taking it in. All right. I was taking it in out at the. I would say the weakest part of my life. I was strong, but I was also weak here. Um, physically abused, I mean, swung on, uh, clothes being thrown out the house. I've never had my clothes bleached before. Um, never was threatened. To, someone told me they'll kill me. Um, I was scared for my life. Um, and when the times that this shit was, the stuff was good, when we had good moments, that person always say, never um, doubt my love for you. Never doubt my love. And that there, this is when I started learning about narcissism. That right there is what helped me to that person. It took me to wake the fuck up. I'm sorry. It took me to wake up to say to myself, this is not normal, nor it's okay. I have to get out of this, like now, today. And the moment I made the decision to walk away for myself, I started to see more of this person, more anger, more rage, mm. because they couldn't control me anymore. Mm. And I was okay with that. Did I worry that this person might go out here and kill themselves and do all this? Yeah, but I, all I could do was pray for them because at the end of the day, that was no, I couldn't let that be my problem anymore. I had to do what was best for me. And that was getting rid of that. And the moment I let that go, baby, let me just show you. She's showing you her ring. <laughs> when I say, a friend of 12 years came into my, my life, never left my life, and it has been a blessing to this day. I can't even tell you my last argument. I can't. When I say life is good, this person is understanding. They sit and they talk with me. They reassure me every fucking time. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Every time they reassure me, like, they give me something that I haven't got, but not only that, Remind me of who I am and what I am working towards. Hey, are you doing your podcast today? Hey, no, you know what? Go work because this can wait. You know, I can be selfish at times. And I just love you, but it's okay. Go work. That's the shit you need, baby. That's the shit you need. That's how old the shit does. Yeah. So good. But Again, you don't know what's waiting for you until you let that go. You have to, whatever it is you're holding on to or you're afraid of. I was afraid. Uh, I'm still afraid to go through things with people because I don't have like a bunch of friends. You know, I have my selected people that I've known since I was 10 years old. 
Mm -hmm. And we have gone through things. We're going through things and going through things that I don't understand mm -hmm. that I can't even communicate and having verbally uh, spoke to them about. You know, I'm just kind of going with the wave right now, but I've also seen behavior too that I just don't, I question. Like, hmm, is this something, is this a person that I really see as a, that I want in my life still? Is, is, is this what I want for myself? Do you know what you want for you? Mm -hmm. Do you really know? Put that on a piece of paper and see if you actually writing something out and not hesitant. When the last time you told yourself you actually love you, like, what do you like about yourself? What do you love about mm -hmm. yourself? When you, when Alpha stands for I fucking love you, I'll forever love you. Look at yourself in the mirror and you tell yourself you love me. Oh, no, 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 I just, I love you. I fucking love you. And why? Tell yourself, show some gratitude to yourself. Motivate, like, I was looking for that for, at times, I was looking at that from her at times. You know, I was like, the you know, motivation, because I couldn't write a song. You don't like anything about yourself. So that's right there. You gotta, you, you gonna have to change. We're gonna have to, we gonna have to change that. But you gotta want to change. Do mm -hmm. you want change? We can we can yeah. all sit here on this chat and want it for you because we do genuinely. You know, um, I don't wish anything bad on nobody. I don't, you know, all I want is something positive to come from this right now for you. And hopefully that you'll take it. And say, you know what? Tomorrow you'll wake up with a different mindset. You say, you know what, Toy? Let's try to do something different than we did yesterday and the day before that. Let's try something different because you owe it to yourself. You want to change is there. You saying it is a step. Yeah. You wanting to change is there. So know this that you can change. You can. You just gotta take that one foot and put it in front of the other. And it seems like it, it drags a little bit, but as long as you get there and you're doing it, it's going to take time till you get to where you need to be. You get what I'm saying? So know that we all here want the best for you, but you got to want that for yourself. You got to want it for yourself. And you said you want to change. Mm -hmm. So because you want to and you probably need to, mm -hmm. and you, you need to change the, the, the thought that you have about yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to change that, like you, you know, but you don't know what to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're not dealing with your own shit. Right. We all been there, Keisha. Not just you. I have to ask God if this for me, show me. If not, show me. And then she said, it hit different when you let go and marry your best friend. My life is great now because I let go. So I understand me and everybody have a story. That's true. And you also said you have to change things for yourself. You can do it. And you a mother. I am a mother of two with one on the way. And and I, you know, before this marriage, I didn't have kids. So the decision I made was simply for me because I got tired of the feeling. I got, I knew I was losing myself. I knew I was losing myself and I'm open enough to say this. I knew I was losing myself when I, called uh when i was talking to shan and telling her reckless shit and she called this one and had her drive to my fucking house and um they thought i was gonna kill myself they really did i was losing myself i did not want to be here i was tired but it wasn't me that i was tired of it was the situation so that's why i was like you know what let me try that and then once i try that and it's still the same then now i gotta reevaluate myself you know what I'm saying? When you hear that your cousin, and it's, it's blood, if you don't know, if we got blood, it's my first cousin, to hear that she wanted to take life, you know what I'm saying? In my mind, I was like, I'm about to beat her ass. <laughs> I'm about to <laughs> you up. But at the end of the day, you know, like, right, because she was keeping mm -hmm. stuff from, you know, not keeping stuff from me, because mm -hmm. she talked to me about certain, like, uh, everything. But then it was so play where she was like, I ain't telling Keisha Staying in, and I got to do what I got to do for me. So I was like, she ain't talked to me about nothing lately or nothing. But when I heard that, mm -hmm. it sent me over because I couldn't imagine, like, yeah, that was the devil. Mm -hmm. That was the devil. So I got tired of thinking. 
I'm gonna tell you, I got tired of thinking your mind does this bullshit. And my mind still does it to this day. Not that, but my mind races. And I'm gonna tell you where it came from. It came from the last person. Because the last person mine was running, their she wasn't their protecting shit, herself. Their shit became my shit. And I refused to go and deal with that shit. So. And granted, in that situation, she just wanted someone to stay in her shit, but now and help her get the but she didn't she didn't want the help. Huh? Sorry. She didn't want the help. Oh yeah, yeah. She Most definitely. not doing the same thing. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah, so um Toy, this you know, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't really Toy, know. come on here more often. Every Sunday, every Monday PM. Come on here because that's a start. You know what I mean? Talk about whatever you want to talk about. We here for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, chime in with some people, talk to us. You know, you ain't gotta get on the camera like no, you don't have to be on the camera. You if you want to just sit, good. listen, check in, you know what I'm saying? If you want something more personal, we here for it all is. Yeah. And it's it's okay. No, it's okay. What you what what you're going through because like, we don't know the whole story. Story. And trust me, I let me just say this right quick. Mm -hmm. We on live, so I ain't gonna air you out on here. Right. You know, but I ask real questions. I ask the right questions. And because I'm gonna tell you, people might be looking at this and might think, oh, she just want attention. Mm -hmm. Or this can you know, like people could think that, but if you're not asking the right questions, and you probably don't have that, like you said, you don't have the right people in your life. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have your ass looking at some stuff, making you check you out, mm -hmm. but out of love, mm -hmm. just being genuine. Because sometimes we be in our own way. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we all be in our own way. So, you know, you gonna step to me? I'm gonna tell you straight up. I'm coming with my two cents. I'm gonna listen. I will listen. But then, I, how I have to ask these questions because. Boundaries, I have to set those, you know, like I'm all or, ears. Or if you don't want any feedback, just simply say, we tell people all the time, if you don't want feedback, say you just that. say, I don't want you to say nothing. I just want you to listen. listen. Yes. And that's cool. Because talking about it helps. Trust me. Screaming about it helps. You know what I mean? Yeah, screaming the pillow. Pillow, try this. Get some index cards. Write down all the shit that you, stuff that you don't like, the <laughs> stuff that you hate, the stuff that's been keeping you bottled in and, and, and conformed into that one space that you're in in your head, put it in a shoebox. Go outside in the backyard where it's safe because I don't know if you live in an apartment complex or if you live in a house and it's great. Go in the backyard or find an alley or somewhere safe where feds ain't going to show up and light that box on fire. That's a step. That's the shit she do. She always playing with some fire. I do play with fire. Me, I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Discipline. I wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I sit in the bathtub in hot water. I even challenged myself because my our water gets hot. Mm -hmm. And I just sat there, I sat under the water. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, then don't try to put your head in. I literally, because the water be that hot that you have to really sit under it and not move. So if you move, it might burn your skin. Yeah, right. So I had to literally get in there and sit under the water and not move and just be there and that should be hot i'm sweating take some water in there you might need to change your diet it, it, look crystals um whatever sage, your situation candles. is well i listen i don't know what god has done for anybody else i know he, he's got me out of situations i've questioned my religion by my, my belief in god at times because but i've been through Things where he showed me, I well, I be on social media enough where I be like, but well, damn, this makes sense. So is God not real? Like I ask so many questions, I'm still going through a spiritual thing. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm I'm doing what I, I still pray because that's what I know and that's what has gotten me through. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna stop doing that. I pray for my friends, the family members, members, enemies, and people. I pray for this world, bro. And I'm like, yo, I be talking to God. I I know y'all seen my post the other day. I was like, man, I called bro, God brother the other day. Like, God, these are your people. You created these people. Why are they acting this way? Oh, because it's the devil. But you create these are your peoples. And you be sending them my way and they way. Like, come on, man. What was you doing? Talk to me. No, don't don't talk to me. Like, 
I be having them kind of talks with God, man. You got to be real. Toy, Lakeisha Lowe said her inbox is open. Add her as a friend. Yeah, you got to get with like-minded people. Mm -hmm. You, I mean, people that are like you. Toy, get up tomorrow. Take a shower. Wash your hair. Burn some sage. Open the window. Get them bad spirits out of that house. But listen, the devil can get into you and your kids. And he can. He can. I have questions and I got my answer. It must was meant for me to be on here because I was sleeping. The lab came on my phone. I know that's right, honey. Hey there. He showed me he was still there and I was never alone. No judgments on here. Told I know you. them for years. I told you, listen, Toy, we all is baby. Like, but you gotta be ready for that real. And of course, if you're not ready, then yeah. And I mean, like I said, I'm not I'm weird of just experience things yeah. in life, you know, and I can only speak from experience and I don't speak on things I don't know. Mm -hmm. So that's why I even trying to take your situation and try to understand. Trust me, I got a million questions. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I cannot ask them here. I won't, you know, I, I don't. It's, you know, there's a structure to this, but we open. This is like a round table. We mm -hmm. sit here, we talk, we hear you out. People chime in, tap in, you pray. I'm pretty sure some people will pray for you. I know I am. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say one, one up for you because, you know, it's, it's hard out here. Mm -hmm. And if you're on social media, and you watch other people's life and worrying and wondering about how they get you don't know what break away from that. If take a break. You if you do if you're into social media, take a break. Just take a break. That alone will take change your break. There's a 30 day. I challenge oh. anybody to stay away for 30 days. All social media. I if mean you're used to getting up in the morning. The first thing you grab is your phone. That's a problem in this in itself. Take a break. Yeah, but then she's not be able to watch it. Watch us on Sundays, <laughs> Mondays at 8 p.m. But take a break. Take a break from scrolling. Yeah. Because the first thing that you see in the morning is how your day is set. Don't believe me? Yeah. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To have a person to wake up in the morning and somebody somebody be like, you know, damn, how, how, how's your morning? And ask that and be consistent. It, it's so foreign to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, it made me question. Like, I mean, but then I'm like, I'm gonna stop questioning because I asked for it. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted. I this. I this is what I know that I want. I know what I want. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now that because once you start manifest, and manifest word is manifest. Real. Hey, y'all, I'm gonna tell you how. Don't I'm, say you gonna try. Say, I'm, a, I'm gonna do. Yeah, you change, gotta change. Try to do. And I'm will do. it will happen? Yes. Like, when I wake up in the morning, because you're gonna wake up tomorrow morning, but. When I say manifest, people's problems can help. Let me see people. if I can put show y'all right quick. Definitely, I put a time on mine. My limit on Instagram is one hour thirty minutes. Instagram has it where it shows you how long you're on it. It does. I don't. I. I, I don't know. I've never been a social media type person. Like I go in there, check. I get the fuck off. My thing is YouTube. I'm big on YouTube. I like battle rap, but I'm musically inclined, so it's. I try to, it's it's things like this, y'all. Y'all can't see. Try it. Okay, y'all see. Let's take farts. The fart spray. I'm, oh. Okay, so it's going. It's loading up. But I have wrote on a whiteboard in our house, and um, I said the fart spray will go viral. It's it's loading up. Okay. Um, because the video, fart spray will go viral. Twenty twenty one. We will get monetized. I wrote that. Okay, I wrote that in probably March, mm -hmm. full months ago. You wrote it. Uh, uh, I wrote when it. We first did it. Yeah, I wrote it down. And let's just let let's. When okay. you go to our YouTube, let me show y'all every video. Y'all see all the posts. Y'all can see. Y'all can go see for yourself. And when you did subscribe, but if you go there now. That one video mm -hmm. is the video that has the K's in it. Right. So, hold on. Let me try to get it focus. Uh, oh, wrong one. My bad. Well, just know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Hey, 
There you go. Y'all see that number? 13, what did I say? 13K views four months ago. We, we're not making this shit up. Manifesting. When I tell you, and there's other things like when I, and I feel like it all happened because we write down. They say, I'm taking it serious now. So I'm going to start writing down everything. I wrote down, Ma, if y'all see Erica uh, uh, Jennings that pops up on here, that's Ma. When she said, write down, <laughs> let me just show them. So I know. When she said, write down, exactly, she had already told me this. Mm hmm. Right now, I had did it. She had mentioned it again. This one, Erica C. Thomas. Yeah, that's mom. She sells. She gets on here and she, you know, tap that sometimes. But she told me write it down. Write down the type of woman you want. And the thing is, because I knew in my head what type of woman I wanted. But writing it I down matters. What? Oh, uh, she has it. She's still here. I think toy. Yeah, we don't know oh, toy. We don't know this toy. Before, oh. when I was depressed, I scrolled for hours, but now my hour limit does not show until 8 p.m. So I have gotten better and no longer scrolling through the day. And, some, and sometimes you get lost in that shit. Yeah, you can. You, I mean, and then you realize, damn, I spent all day on fucking. But that's how you say to yourself, that's that's how I know I'm missing out on stuff. Because even though, like, looking down at my phone, I'm doing, I'm not just scrolling. Everything that I'm doing for purpose is business. Mm -hmm. Is I'm and it's for me to learn something. So, but I have taken my uh, time away from social media. Now, recently, y'all probably haven't seen I've been posting anything about the merchandise. Mm -hmm. You know, and it took for you know Boo to be like, you ain't forget about the merchandise, have you? And because to her, I like I said, I don't tell her every. I haven't. I didn't mention, but she rem, she just just that reminder, like, oh, that someone's paying attention. It was like, damn, and you know that I take this serious. But everything is being revamped, mm -hmm. and I just I'm not telling everybody my every move now. That's me. Move in silence. And I never, I wanted to, cause people, I felt like expressing myself, telling people who know where I've come from, see me doing things, would believe that, you know, give them a reason for them to believe, mm -hmm. but then this shit looked like hate. Oh yeah. And I'm like, damn, I didn't know that could happen oh, yeah. to me. My excuse was that's how I stay connected to the world, but I was using it to escape from reality. Then you, uh, Savelle said, I did the same thing. I put what kind of man I want and the things I didn't want in a man. And God sent me the right one. You never know who for you. Listen, I, I'm i telling you, even though I'm not, I'm still single, I am in a situation. So at the end of the day, just the and I'm like because I'm reserved with it, you know what I'm saying? I just I'm not just jumping into anything, but every day I'm questioning, like, oh my god, why are you sending this person? No, I'm not gonna question you because I'd be asked for it, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and I, I and I deserve it, and they, I know my worth, and I know what I deserve, and I deserve all of that love that I'm being, get, uh, being given. And when you get that good in your life, whether it's a person, a situation, a job, whatever the case might be, friend, don't look for the fuck up because it might not be a fuck up there. You know what I'm saying? But if you keep looking for a fuck up, it's, it's going to come. You know what I mean? And I'm a, I, Thoughts I, I, I'm a, become things. things. Real, so you, you're you saying that, and I, would, I can say from a person who overthinks, I know for a fact that even in the sense where I was trying to find something not bad in her, but just find something mm -hmm. i have found me so much that it's like i'm i'm not trying to find i don't want bad you know when all this good is happening mm -hmm. and i don't have that feeling that i had with people like that sense of something right mm -hmm. i don't have that mm -hmm. it's different and i'm again taking my time but my focus is me mm -hmm. and my business mm -hmm. What will happen will. Period. Period. So I'm doing a whole lot of building right now. 
hurry. It's 10 o'clock. Yes, it is. It is 10 o'clock. But yeah, we invite you, Toy. You're more than welcome here. Um, this is a safe space, and we don't allow bullshit. And people have to respect everybody's opinion on here. You know, it might be some things we might not agree to. We might, you know, have a different opinion, but we're going to respect each other at the end of the day. Um, so trust me, no one's going to come up here and try and think because we will beat their ass. Um, we're not not promoting violence. We're not doing that. We just, saying, we just saying we would just check and block them. That's what she meant, because that's all we're going to do. We're not we're too old for doing any of that. But yes, I will. Did you want to bring what she said up? Yes. But don't question that was me. Everything was so good. I was scared. I had a feeling that something was, was going, going to go, go wrong, but it but didn't. It. I know. And but like I said, because I know what I deserve, I don't question it. I'm like, I deserve this. Mm -hmm. I deserve you. Like you came, you didn't cross paths. We didn't cross these paths for no reason. Trust me. <laughs> Trust. Trust it. So yeah, anybody want to give some last minute advice? Say something to somebody who's watching this going through some a well about damn time. <laughs> I know. I would have to get out my own way. Y'all said I was waiting for it, mm -hmm. didn't you? Someone told but, me something. But when it gets, when it gets, when it becomes official, official, then y'all really going. Nah, y'all still might not know shit. Y'all just, y'all might see a lot more hot faces with the eyes that I love. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna post it right now. This Someone is. told me this earlier. They said, "In the 14 years I've known you, this is by far the happiest I've ever seen you." And yeah, look at God. She said she knew that Shan was the one when I didn't, when she didn't get no calls about me wringing her neck. Pretty much, pretty much. When I start, when I start shutting up about not when I don't post as much and I'm focusing on when I tell y'all I'm doing, I never in my life worked so hard. I've worked hard, but not. I work so hard for other people. That I had to transfer that and put it into myself. Because I believed in everybody else because I was a part of the project. But now I am the project and I put it all in me. I, it's, I'm going strong. So y'all going to see. Y'all know y'all got, we got the merchandise. I fly. Yes. So make sure y'all are checking that out. Y'all see at the bottom, iflymerch.com. Make sure y'all check us out. Um, new merch is on the way. So, mm -hmm. Trust me, I'm coming. No homo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and also, make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. Um, please subscribe. We're yeah. trying to get to a thousand subscribers, y'all. We getting the views. Definitely. We got the views. We getting the views, but we would love for each and every one of y'all to subscribe to. We got different content we do there too. You know, it's a lifestyle for us. This we are the life of the party. Mm -hmm. We throw the parties. We get invited to them. Oh. We host the parties. <laughs> we do a lot. You know what I'm saying? We sit, we listen, we give advice on what we can talk about. And um, we're there, we're present. So we want y'all to do the same thing. So subscribe to the YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh, also Shandell's lemonade. lemonade. On all platforms except for uh it don't matter yeah just they probably don't go on that one anyway i was gonna say soundcloud but yeah uh -huh. but chandel's lemonade make sure y'all stream it all that good stuff and if y'all haven't got y'all tickets to the genuine concert which chandel is it's performing december. it's in december um i'll have that information for you guys on sunday so we're going to go ahead and sign out. Make sure y'all check in with us. Oh, you need to add that Yes, one. I do. Um, I can do that as we speak, honey I'm, child. I'm that dope. <laughs> We're we going to have y'all make sure y'all tap in with us each and every Monday. Sunday. Sunday. Sunday Monday. And at 8, Monday. At 8 p.m. You know, please forgive us. Like I said, we have been trying to get here get here on this platform and we're going to keep 
being consistent and doing our thing, sticking to each and every Sunday, Monday at 8 p.m. Come check right. us out. Come tap in with us. Show us love. We're going to show you some love. Tell us some good news. Just tap in. We want to know that you're all doing good, especially with everything going on in this world, y'all. I just want to know from here that y'all are good and be a story for someone else. Be someone else's story or testimony. Let someone else hear what you got to hear. You know, we do all types of things. Ask all types of questions. We, we've, been, we've been doing a lot of ther therapy, mm -hmm. therapeutic, mental awareness situations. Mm -hmm. But like I said, each and every Sunday and Monday, we're here at 8 p.m. Tap in with us. Oh, they need to subscribe to the the AFLA page because we're going to stop going. Yes, on. please, y'all. Please go to the AFLA Entertainment page. I'm going to have to. If you're on Facebook, just go to AFLA Entertainment. Oh, except my fact, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it easy. I'm just going to send everybody that tune in every day a request. Just accept it. And turn y'all notifications. Don't worry. I got y'all. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got y'all. I ain't going to make y'all do too much because y'all got a lot going on anyway. It's my job. I got y'all. Okay. Mm -hmm. We love y'all, man. Yes, Somebody did. just commented. Yes, y'all did. Oh, you said good night, y'all. Can you send me a reminder? Got you. Oh, hold up. Send you a reminder for what, though, Savio? I guess for us. We the name? Chomp in. Okay, whatever we go. I'm going to send. We're going to send you everything. Yeah. Stop it at this point. I'm going I'm to reach out to y'all. So we love y'all. Have a good night. It's your girl, Keisha Cool. And school is in. On the game. Good night, y'all.